Good morning and welcome to the video for Tuesday, May the 12th for fourth grade. This is going to be our homework video covering our lesson working with units of time. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. I've went ahead and written in uh, some of the answers, some of the other things I'm going to give the answers as we talk through them. So to get from the number of weeks uh, to a total number of days, we would be multiplying by 7. So that's going to give us 35 for number 2. For number three, we're going to take three years multiplying by 52 weeks in a year. That will give us 156. Uh, for number four, we're multiplying our number of hours uh, by the number of minutes in an hour, which would be 60. That's going to give us 540 minutes. We are going to get the same answer for number five, uh, but this time we are going from minutes to seconds. So 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour. For number six, we can compare by multiplying two years times 12 months in a year. That's going to give us 24 compared to 14, so we would use the inequality symbol for greater. For number seven, we are going to multiply three hours times 60 minutes. That's going to give us 180 on this side compared to 300 on this side, and so we would use the inequality symbol for less than. For number eight, we can multiply two days times 24 hours. Uh, that gives us 48 hours compared to 48 hours, and so that is going to be equal. For number nine, we can multiply uh, six times 52. Um, now, one trick that I will tell you is that you don't even need to do um, that. You could just multiply by 50 to figure out that they would be equal. The fact that we're multiplying by a number larger than 50 uh, means that we will have to go past 300. We would end up with 312 weeks on this side compared to 300, and that would be greater than. For number 10, we are practicing a piano piece for 500 seconds compared to practicing it for 8 minutes, and so my total for 8 minutes uh, is going to be uh, 480 seconds, and so Jody practiced longer and the reason that we know that is because we did this problem to figure out. So Jody practiced longer. Here's the reason why. For number 11, Yvette practiced longer, um, or sorry, not practiced longer, her brother's uh, older. Sorry, uh, getting in a rut here. So 12 times 3 would give us the number of months, and that would give us 36 months compared to 30 months. Uh, for number 12, explain how you can prove that three weeks is less than 24 days. Well, we can simply do three weeks times seven days to get 21 days, and that would be the way that we would know the answer to that. So moving on to number one on the back, um, if we ride for two hours, we can multiply that by 60 minutes to get 120 minutes. Uh, for number two, I forgot to put the unit of measurement here. We're converting to days. And so we can do four times seven. So four weeks times seven days in a week gives us 28 days. And for number three, Kayla uh, bought nine quarters of a pound of apples. What is that weight as a mixed number? So we can say that we can make two groups of four. And so that would give us our whole number. We're going to have one group left over. And so our mixed number would be two and one quarter. For number four, we can take our total amount divide by three because we are working with three people here uh, to get the answer. So here's the work for that. The biggest thing that I nitpick people on uh, with this is if you do this type of division problem, make sure you write the decimal above uh, before you start dividing because otherwise you will potentially have a mistake. And so I really get on people in fifth grade for that. So just fair warning uh, for my students. You will hear me say that an awful lot next year. Um, and the reason being is because people do forget. And that's the easiest way. Like even if you're really good at doing division, the easiest way to miss this problem is to accidentally put the decimal point over here or accidentally put the decimal point over here because $1.80 compared to $18 compared to 18 cents are drastically different answers. And there's really no reason to make that mistake if you remember to put the decimal point up top to start with. So number five, there's two different ways to do it. I believe the way I suggested in the uh, lesson video was to go ahead and change this uh, to 40 over 100, add the fractional parts, and then change it to a decimal. You could also go ahead and convert this to a decimal value. Uh, convert this to a decimal value, so 4 tenths would uh, be written as 4 tenths here, and then we can add those together. I normally recommend when you're adding decimals together to include zeros, 
so that you don't have an accident as well. So again, we're going to line everything up in the center um, based on the decimal point. We're not going to have a 0.54 and then put a the decimal point here and then put a 4 here. That's going to give us an accident um, that's going to result in a wrong answer. And so number six, we can do 60 quarts times two pints and a quart to get 120 pints. So those are the problems for the homework. We will have a new lesson coming out today as well, um, and that will continue our chapter. And I believe we are skipping a lesson and jumping ahead to uh, the very last lesson in chapter 12. So uh, go ahead and stay tuned for that. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video or tomorrow.